Hello and welcome to Homegrown Veg. This is a one man and his dog gardening channel. We're short on space but we're big on ideas. We grow vegetables in pots, buckets, bags and beds. We like our recycling at Homegrown Veg and we use whatever nature provides. We like to try new ideas and welcome suggestions. We show you how we grow veg, but we also ask how you grow veg. When we are not in the garden, we visit our local seashore and we visit our local woods and we walk in the English Lake District and we always take our camera. Let's take a quick look at some of the stuff that's on the channel. We like to grow potatoes at home grown veg and when we do we always finish off with a reveal and a weigh-in. Checking the pH of your soil is something that should be done every year we do it every autumn at home grown veg and should the soil need an amendment we make that amendment. Would you believe it those four lovely heads of celery were grown in that small 10 inch water bucket. This is a neat trick for sowing your seeds thinly uh, in pots or buckets. We like to use a grid pattern, a homemade grid pattern and using seeds that are pelleted makes them much more easier to see. This was the best return from onions I've ever had. This is a bed of onions that I lifted recently. The onion is called Ailsa Craig and was grown from seeds. These are some carrots that were grown in a 10 inch water bucket. These are some carrots being taken from a 10 inch water bucket that in a former life was a cut flower water bucket. As you can see when we take carrots at home grown veg we take them all. It is possible to get two crops from one pot using the same compost in the same growing year. I do it every year. Potatoes and leeks being a good example. In fact this is so good I have a video on the channel that's actually been plagiarised. Uh, this is a barrel full of seaweed uh, that I'd collected uh, from our local seashore and we like getting down to our local seashore as you'll find if you follow my channel. There's no need to make fertiliser with seaweed just chop it and drop it. Let the rain take the strain and the worms will help out in that respect. This is something we like to do at home grown veg. Those pots, those water buckets have already delivered vegetables this year. Um, we simply put the soil back in the pot and put a top coat in of chop and drop to stand on that pot over the winter months. That smallest compost pile will have disappeared by the spring of the following year and that pot will be good to go. This is a nice shot of our uh, English Lake District. Molly and I love to visit the Lake District. That's a nice autumnal shot of uh, one of our lakes. And to finish off, a lovely seaside shot. Uh, a lovely sunset on our local seashore. So, if you would like to join Molly and me, in the garden, on the seashore, in the woods or in the English Lake District, please subscribe now. You're most welcome.